Hello everyone, very nice to meet you. It's an honor to be with you here today and I'd like to send my gratitude to LGU Plus to give us a great opportunity to attend this blog fest. I'm Rama Lee from InnoWireless. InnoWireless is a world leading mobile network test solution provider. I guess you are unfamiliar with InnoWireless. It is based in South Korea and we are focused on R&D and domestic distribution. We have Acuber. Acuber is a global sales and marketing company wholly owned by InnoWireless. I'm sure you're familiar with Acuber. So please allow me to use InnoWireless and Acuber in my presentation. Okay, let me start. The title is OM Plug Fastball 2022. These are agendas I will cover today. The first one is test bed setup. Second one is E2E testing. Third one is test results and details. Last one is in a wireless and a cable strengths. This page shows the logical architecture. You can see it is all in the left. It is all is a product name of our solution for open brand. It collects traffic of interfaces of LU, TU, and CU in real time, analyzes its interface and protocol, and provides its KPIs. In this plug fest, frontal and middle interfaces were collected and test was proceeded in conjunction with in a wireless team solution XCAL. IQ Analyzer processes IQ data to decode the radio channels and provides a resource block map and spectrum analysis result. This page shows test bed setup. It explains more specifically than logical architecture in the previous page. As you can see in the bottom, two airspan values are configured and three UE devices. Each smartphone is linked to in a wireless DM XCAM. The role of DM in EGSO is important because it controls the automation call of devices, collects, stores logs, and delivers RLC messages, which is necessary for IQ analyzer to perform channel decoding. In the upper right page, you can see TU is a druid solution, and one virtualized server of Sienna in the left are configured also. For E2E test, all traffic was mirrored and test call was operated according to the test scenario. You can see our products are also connected to P2P Grandmaster in order to synchronize timing with all equipment in the right picture. For tests that require to implement real radio channel in the lab, the testing environment could be configured using in a wireless own solution, AIS. AIS stands for Air Interface Simulator. It is not in the picture. I don't like to mention it just for your information. In the plug fest, we used it in some cases. It provided wireless environment through radio signal attenuation and fading. This is system configuration description for a test environment. This table shows that the parameter setting value between LU and DU. Okay, let's move on to the next. This page shows in a wireless test items at this plug fest. Upper block is our list among test cases defined by the ORAN TIFC working group. The extra test at the bottom reported on the KPI analysis that EGSO can provide additionally while processing the E2E test. You know, extra test is a temporary name. For more details, are provided in the sample test result on the next page. E2E test we proceeded, and it was classified into three main categories: functional, performance, and service. Functional is a call processing function test such as SA registration, deregistration, and handover. Performance is a throughput test 
according to various RF environments. Service is a performance test for application service, and only FTP was performed in this test. The results were reported based on the UE's XCAL log as defined in the TIFG standard, expected KPI and format. Let me talk about two samples. In functional of the first line, you can see that item 4.3 delay of a registration call is 300 milliseconds on average. In performance, 5.2a means downlink peak throughput. In this result, 626 megabps was obtained. On the right table, there are RF environment at the time. In the service item of the last line, FTP throughput for three RF environments was measured. As a result, it was confirmed that the throughput performance was good, in order excellent, good, poor. During this experiment, we discovered some interesting points, which we will discuss again next time I have a chance. This is a summary of you know, extra test items. Extra test report was prepared by analyzing the source statistic based CDL called detailed record. It can be classified into three categories extra test one, two, three. Test one provides timing and error analytics for the CU plane of the frontal. Test 2 provides the timing analytics for the S-plane of the frontal. Finally, Test 3 provided KPIs for F1C plane and U-plane of the mid-hole, and demonstrated functional elements which are unable to be quantified. Let me show you one test item as a sample in detail among various E2E test items. The detailed report is a result of 5.5 omnic throughput in different radio conditions. The contents on the left are the data measured by XKLDM, throughput of the UE site, and radio parameters such as RSRP, RSRQ, and SINR, etc. Middle content shows the throughput of mid hole F1 traffic. The right result is a KPI that statistically analyzes frontal traffic, timing analytics, and error analytics related to CUS plane of frontal. Through this data, we are able to reconfirm that DM and omnic F1 indicators are almost similar. This is an example showing that the operation works well. Okay, this is in a wireless acuber is a strength. I'm waiting for this moment. It is a study from the Aegis solution in a wireless big data platform, which collects and analyzes big data by probing on nodes of the core network of mobile operators. It is a product solution brand name. Thanks to Oren Alliance, the interface between RU and DU became an open standard. So the inner wireless Aegis family was able to expand. AGSO is the version of AGIS for ORAN. Our solution provides a complete lab ORAN test solution portfolio of the following three parts. Protocol Analyzer, XKDM, IQ Analyzer. Protocol Analyzer collects traffic and X as process role. XCAL oversees U trace with DM. And IQ Analyzer processes IQ data to decode radio channels and provides a resource block map and spectrum analysis result. This page shows the core keywords of AGSO. The most important thing is that AGSO can collect, store, process packets in real time. KPIs can be monitored in real time. Please remember real time. Through various experience, you are already aware that checking test results in real time is very important while operating or actual engineering. Therefore, I'd like to emphasize this again. The last thing I'd like to emphasize is 
Because it is possible to analyze by decoding down to the packet level, we can check if equipment uses 0-bit or not when data is not required. And non-sequence or abnormal packet flow can be also checked. In the time-sensitive system, the confirmation about whether accurate sequence is maintained or not is essential. So combining those strengths, I'm sure AGSO is perfect solution that allows operators and vendors to analyze various matters. User-friendly GUI. In conclusion, all the mentioned functions are provided through useful and simplified GUI. Our designers always consider user-friendly interfaces. I'd like to emphasize the performance and benefits of EGSO one more. Please be advised that this solution was formally adopted by one of the biggest operating companies in Germany. That's all I prepared for a presentation. In a wireless and a cuber, would like to thank LGU Plus and our test partners in this Plugfest for the outstanding collaboration once more again. Thank you for having me.